We're here today at Chick Sands Bike Park and I've got some special guests for you today. We've got Tom Cardi, we've got Cara Beal, and we'll be showing you some tricks you can do absolutely anywhere, maybe your front room or at your local trails. Right, we've got this perfect flat area in the middle of the woods. Surely we can't be doing any tricks in here. But I hear Cara's got something pretty special up her sleeve. What we got? Yeah, so I call this one the body varial. And you can even do this in your kitchen at home. All you need to do is lift the bike up on the back wheel, find the sweet spot where the bike balances upright on its own. Once you've got it, you spin really quickly, Whoa. grab the bike and then, yeah, impress all your mates. Right, I've never done one of these before, Cara. So we're just balancing it on the back wheel, yeah? yeah? That's Get it, it in a sweet spot. Sweet spot, so, so it's it balances. it's feeling like it's gonna stay there and I'm just yeah. literally gonna spin around and grab it, yeah? Spin as fast as you, you can. You might wanna watch your bike just in case this one falls over. <laughs> uh, right, so she feels like she's gonna stay. Yeah. Oh, look at that, nice. Perfect one to show you, mate. Cardi, you're well known for doing some pretty crazy <laughs> e-bike maneuvers, aren't you? And I think your signature one has got to be the cardigan. Yes, do you know what it consists of? It consists of wool, do you usually pull it over your head? Keeps no, it nice and not that kind of cardigan. Basically, this one is even more insane. Yeah. You pick the bike up without using your hands. That's got to be quite a struggle with all that weight of the e-bike, surely. The bike's a little bit heavier, mm -hmm. but the trick works the same and yeah. it definitely looks as cool. Do you want me to uh, show you what it's all Sounds about? Sounds interesting, yeah, go for it. Whoa, nice. Whoa. How did you so find cool. that? Slightly more impressive than a woolly cardigan, eh? <laughs> so how do you go about doing that then? So, it. obviously your bike needs to be on the ground, but it needs to be on the floor in a very specific way. So you want your crank to be like that. And then the key to this trick is with your feet, you're not allowed to use your hands. As this foot touches the crank here, this one catches the seat and flicks the bike up like that. That's the secret to perfecting the cardigan. So this move's a load of fun, especially if you've got a small car, you've got to try and fit that big e-bike in. I like to do this when I get close to the car park. It's the front wheel removal wheelie. So for the front wheel removal wheelie, first you need to remove your wheel axle, put that somewhere nice and safe. Then it's the same as the basic wheelie technique, get into that balance point, feathering it on the back brake, and just mind out that you don't run over your own front wheel. If you want to step it up a little bit, you can start without the front wheel already. Then it's just a case of jumping to those pedals and sending it. Hey! So when you get to the end of the wheelie, just make sure you get your feet down first, otherwise your forks are gonna dig in, you're gonna flip over the handlebars, just like this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So the next trick we're going to do is the crank flip. You can start pretty basic, sat on the bike. Basically all you do is go along, you need to know what foot, foot you are forward and then bring the pedals back to 10 o'clock on a clock face, push it, be ready to catch it and then you've done the crank flip. Yes, Cara, that yeah, was that awesome. Sick. However, if you would like to step it up more and try a more advanced version, you can do either the endo crank flip or the wheelie crank flip. Let's take a look. So roll in a nice medium speed, pop an endo, kick the cranks the same as KJ did, and then roll away stoked. For this one, you need to have the wheelie dialed. When you're at the perfect balance point, kick the cranks around, keep it balanced and ride off into the sunset. The next one is a trick that was made famous by Sam Pilgrim. Mm -hmm. I personally really like doing this when I first get out of the car, yeah. just to check your bike's working, check that motor's engaging. Do you want me to uh, show yeah, you what it's all about? Called? It's called the Compass. Come on then, let's show me. Let's see. 
So find yourself a nice open space. Yeah. And then you're gonna do a plank like you would in the gym yeah. on there and then just start pedaling. And then once your motor gets kicked in, <laughs> you can see it just sort of takes off and spins you really, really quickly. I've got to give that one a go. Sure. Give that a go, it's nice. quite a fun one. <laughs> Lay and on the then, seat and then plank. Did you that's say? it, plank, feet together. Yeah. So you're making like a point, like a compass oh wood. Oh my God. And then just spin it, man. Check, see that motor's engaging really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit loose on the front, the front end. The wheel washes out quite <laughs> easy. <laughs> How's that motor working, good? It's feeling pretty good. Yeah, I don't looks, know about the abs though. Oh. It looks in tune. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty that tricky. Was sick. That, that was sick. That was nice. very good. Good fun. Hurts the abs a little. Yeah, it's a bit of a workout, isn't it? What's the uh, top tips for the compass then, Tom? So to start off with, you want to make sure you're in a nice low gear. Mm. Otherwise, it's pretty hard to get the bike spinning. Yeah. Toes nice and pointy, so they really spin and keep the handlebars turned yeah. at an angle so that it goes in the circle. Mm. And also, yeah, just keep it spinning. Once you get it going, it just does it itself, I basically. Found you can regulate that speed a little bit as well. Drag the back brakes. A little yes, sneaky that's one a good well, one. So. Yeah, just control yeah. your speed. So. Nice one. What we got next then? Now, a lot of us are scared to get air on our e-bikes, meaning you don't actually have to hit the dirt jumps to do those tricks. We've got a fire road behind us. We're gonna show you a few examples of those tricks you can do on flat ground. Okay, so this is my signature trick, the suicide. All you're doing is pinching the nose of the saddle with your knees, chucking your hands back, just like you're flying 20 foot up in the air. The fire road's a perfect place to dial in those no fitters. You start small, and then as you build your confidence up, you get bigger and bigger each time. Just don't forget to wear your shin protection because you could easily catch those shins on the pedals. The trick that I enjoy doing on the fire road is the Superman because you can get some wicked extension and show off to your mates. The next trick that we're going to be looking at is the track stand. It's a really basic but essential skill which Cara is about to demonstrate. So as you can see, as you can see she's static, balancing on the bike. She's using the brakes and her body weight to keep the bike still. Once you have that dialed, the more advanced version that you can learn is to sit down and use your feet on the front wheel like I am. You just kind of kick the wheel and that helps to balance. Once you've got that dialed, you can, let's say, Take your hands off, balance, and definitely show your mates up with this one. Right, next up is the bike spin. Now this trick can totally annihilate your e-bike if you get it wrong. If it bounces down on the bars, the cranks, you can expect broken parts. But the idea of it is to get it into the balance point, stop the wheels, keep that bike nice and steady, and flick your hands, then the bike should do a 360 pretty quick. You jump on it and go down the trail. Let's give it a go. What do you think of that in car? It was all right, but I have a killer combo, the body varial to the bike spin. Do you want to see oh it? Oh my God, yeah, I want to see this one. Okay. That's it, get it. Nice, wow, look at that. Hey! Final trick for this video is quite an advanced banger. It's the 360 wheelie, or if you're cool, it's the death spin. If you're bored of your regular wheelie, then you can add this variation to spice it up. perfect the death spin you need to have the wheelie really dialed perform a wheelie at a medium pace whilst dragging your back foot when you're perfectly balanced kick that foot into the ground that will start your rotation if you actually do it in a nice wide area it doesn't matter whether you do a full 360 180 whenever you're ready pick the wheelie back up carry on wheeling off into the distance it's a very difficult trick to master but it is a banger and worth learning for sure so there you go, a load of tricks that you can do absolutely anywhere. It can be your local woods, in your front room, you name it, the tricks are there to be done. Drop some comments in the box below about which tricks you enjoyed most, or which ones you want to learn. Big thanks to Tom and a big thanks to Cara for joining us today. Because thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to follow us on social media too.